Good morning, traders. Let's look at NZD USD and let's see if we have a decent trade forming up. So, as you can see here on the four hour, and guys, I'm still on my laptop. Uh, I did plug in a microphone, so hopefully it's a little bit better. Uh, but I am still on my laptop, so that's why it looks different. So we can we can draw. We're not. We can see we are in a an uptrend, and we've identified this area as resistance on our daily chart, based on this little hitch move here. Uh, we could bring that down and. Yeah, you know, let's just make it a little bit bigger because indecision, reversal, rejection, rejection, okay? Um, now, off of this one, we had less. And we are in an uptrend. So price is kind of getting cornered between those two areas. And what I'm looking for, guys, is um, price had this strong bearish move. This is a strong bearish move last week and we dropped back below the 200 EMA and it's come back and retesting it right now. So what I think what I think I want to wait for and what I'm making the play to do here is if we pull a Fibonacci, where is old Fibonacci Our fun Fibonacci tool? Where'd you go? There you are. Uh, if we pull Fibonacci from the swing high to the swing low on this latest impulse move, what I'm going to wait for, guys, is price. I, I know we're sitting right at the 200 EMA, and a lot of people would short right here. I'm going to come up, wait for it to come up in between the 0.5 to 618. That's going to give me enough juice and I'm going to trade back down to probably this support and I'll show you why this green line down here because we have two points of rejection here horizontally and I respect horizontal lines way more than I respect these trend lines these uh, diagonal trend lines all right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this little breakdown. Um, if you did, don't forget to hit like and follow here on TradingView. And as always, have a great week and let's go make some money together.